Hello, Libra, and welcome to your mid-month July reading. I'm so excited to help you look into your energy today. If you want to know how I do readings, um, you know, about your sun, moon, and rising signs, how the energies can be reversed, or why is this reading not resonating with me, you can go into the July reading, which is in the description box down below. It explains all of that. So, um, and then also we have a new moon reading that just came out. You can go to the Blake playlist and check that out. There's a lots of readings for Libra. But today we're going to look at money and career, and then we're going to look at love life. So we're going to do two different ones. I might split the video for you so that it's easy for you. So for the people who don't want to know about love or don't want to know about money, you, you can go straight to whatever you want to watch. The thing about love really quickly so that you understand Libra is that we are in a huge soulmate cycle. So most of the readers on YouTube are going to be reading about love. And that's just because that's what's coming out in the energy. Like if I just ask the universe today, please show me what's going on in the energy. Guess what? It's going to come out about love because there's millions of people right now that are trying to, the universe is trying to bring together to balance the entire planet. So there are millions of people right now that uh, these soulmate connections are really important to the earth, okay? Because the earth spins in love. And so that's why if I were to just do a reading and not be specific and ask about money and career, I'm going to get love. That's what's going to happen. And it's been happening like that for a while. So if you're watching all these readers and like, how come they're just talking about love? And that's because in soul, soulmates can be friendships. They don't have to be a lover, Okay, these could be people that need to resolve conflict within the soulmate cycle, okay? Because there's just a lot of imbalance on the planet right now. So we're trying to balance all of that out with helping people understand the energy. So what we're going to do is money and career. Let's start there. I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the Libra Collective's highest and best good, bringing forth the most accurate answers when it comes to love. I'm sorry, when it comes to money and career. Money and career, that's what I want. Specifically. I want to thank all the people who have donated to this channel. There is a link in the description box down below. People who have watched video, the videos, who have watched ads, who have subscribed, who have written comments to me. Thank you so much for all of that support. And I want to welcome new people that are here. Thank you for giving me a chance. Let's see what we can find out. Here we go, Libra. All right. So what we're going to do is you, what's happening with you, what's your next step, what's the strength, I'm sorry, wait, you, next step, the obstacle, your strength and what's helping you, and then the new focus or the outcome at the end, okay? And the overall energy for you, thank goodness, is the queen of wands. <laughs> I love that. And I just had a Libra who had the most amazing news that I know this person has been waiting a year, a year or more or longer for this and it kept saying it was coming it's coming it's coming it's coming and boom it came yesterday so libras i hope that is all happening for all of you that finally your energy is opening up and bam so let's find out what's going on okay so we have a uh, queen of wands she is probably one of my most favorite queens so this is great what is saying is in career and money, whatever's happening in the mid month of July and on is going to be really reliable. Okay. It's going to make, it's going to increase your money. It's go, you're going to feel like the universe is being super generous with you. Okay. And thank goodness because Libras, you guys have gone through it with your partners. You've gone through it with your careers. And so thank goodness that the, the, the energy is now changing for you. Okay. Um, I feel like you're, this is going to be a wise decision that you're going to make when it comes to money and career. I feel like it's going to be a good choice. You're going to, you're going to want to express yourself through this opportunity and it's going to help you to step more into your power. This could also be, I know Libras because I've just been reading for you for a while, that there's been someone who has not shown their true self to you because they have struggled within their own emotions um, this could be that person finally accepting their truth and then showing you who they really are when it comes to money and career, okay? And what they really, really want. All right, so you now is that you have been through so much when it comes to this situation of money and career. You feel like you have been stabbed not only in the heart but in the back, 
you feel like you've been stabbed in the foot. You know what I mean? Like it has been not fun. And I know that because a lot of Libras have been going through just obstacles, obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And I feel like you, even though maybe you have gotten some good news, it's like you still are holding on to the old energy of, but what if, but what if? And then what about this? And what about this? It's almost like you have three issues that are hurting your heart. What about this? And what about that? And what about that? Yeah, this great thing might be happening. But what about these things? How am I going to make all this work? How is this going to work out for me? I don't get it, right? So what's the next step for you? Is that just to move forward? Understand that this energy is where you're going. Move forward. Trust in the universe. Trust in God. Realize that God is doing this money career advancement for you so you can move forward. Time to move on. You've been stuck in some stagnant energy for a while. Now we're in movement energy. Now we're in moving towards a career, moving towards the money. We're moving in the right direction, okay? The next step is just to keep moving, keep going. Sometimes stopping to smell the roses can be a problem right? Stopping to look at all the minor, all the details can be a bit of an issue and hold us back. They're saying, feel the movement forward and move forward. Like start planning, start doing what you need to do to move forward. All right. The next thing is um, you, what's the obstacles that are in your way? What's in your way? So what's, what's obstacle that's in your way is um, the communication isn't fully there yet. You, you don't feel like you can totally trust this job offer or this money or something that's coming in. And um, you feel like, like there's just too many details. There's too many things that have to come together in order to make this work. And that is like, it's suppressing your expression of self. It's suppressing, it's suppressing like your, um, your excitement almost like, well, there's just too many things, too many things that got to work out right. And so I'm glad I'm reading this for you because I'm about to talk to my Libra friend <laughs> later tonight. So I'm going to be able to understand her a little bit more <laughs> where she's coming from. All right. So uh, what is the strength and what's helping you? Well, you got the will of fortune. <laughs> That's awesome. That's luck is on your side. I mean, there's angels and God are, are opening doorways for you. The doorways are being open. All you have to do is move forward. All you have to do is trust. So the, the, the universe is helping you. The communication, like this is communication, like it will be there. So don't think that it won't. This is you holding yourself back and thinking, well, we don't communicate well. And, oh, I got to have these talks with so-and-so and so-and-so in order to make this work. And I just, ugh, right? And so stop it. <laughs> stop it. Because this is moving forward. This is like the the wheel of fortune. Like if you've ever watched that game and you spin the wheel, except for there's no bad spots on this, right? So it's just like move forward. That's it. Just let go of the side of the wall and 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 go downstream. Right? That's awesome. So and the new focus and the outcome is that you're <laughs> that's beautiful. Um, like I said earlier, it's exactly what they said here. It's exactly what they told me to, or, you know, what I heard earlier, what I felt earlier was, um, <laughs> you're going to get everything, you know, it's, it's, it's it. This is it. This is it. You know, the queen of pentacles is very reliable. She's well off. She's generous. She's affectionate. She's instinctive. She's wise. She's a great homemaker. She's super caring. She's great at finances, good at health, good at sex, good at fertility, children. I mean, you name it. She's amazing and she's shining brighter than ever. And I got the same kind of card for Taurus was this is who Taurus needs to focus on. So it looks to me like you might be the person that Taurus might be focusing on. You might be someone's lighthouse. You might be the person that someone needs uh, to, to follow and to trust when they're in the darkness you know, for those of you who are in darkness or were in darkness, you know, you're going to turn into the light through all of this experience and help other people come out of their darkness. You're going to be like, I had people who shine their brightest for me so that I could be where I'm at now. And now I'm going to return the favor and shine as bright as I can so that I can help other people get out of their mess. Okay, so quickly, let's see what the device is. The advice 
and then we'll move on to love right after this. And the longer these videos are, the harder they are to, um, to render, like they just take a long time. So I hope I can get these out pretty fast, but they take a while to, for the computer to get them ready to be on YouTube. Oh, nice. Yep. I told you, look at that. Okay. I love it. All right. We got a cup. We got some advice. This is great. It's time to take action. I told you it's moving. You got to follow these movement cards. It's time to take action. It's time to plan. Time to do what you got to do. Luck is on your side, which I heard from a great shaman to say that the angels are opening the doors for you. Okay. So that's really good. And don't let your pride, your pride hold you back. Yeah, because it's not even about pride. It's more about looking at the past pain and saying, yeah, but all that happened. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> okay. What, I mean, what do you want to do with it? You want to take it forward with you? Because that's not healthy. So don't do that. All right. And then step out of your comfort zone and do something new. Do something different. Have these communications. Have these talks. The communications aren't going to be like they were in the retrograde. A lot of you guys struggled in the retrograde with the communications. It's not going to be like that. So go ahead and have the conversations that you need to have. Um, feel the energy, feel the intuition so that you know when the right time to have the conversation is you're going to get the intuition. So don't worry. You should be fine. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do the love reading. Let's go ahead and see what the universe has in the soulmate cycle. Where's your love going, Libra? All right. I have Libra rising sign. So I feel you guys. <laughs> All right, let's do love. Okay, so last shuffle and then we'll pull some love cards. Let's see where we're at. I want to thank Libras. You guys watch so many hours of my videos and I'm so thankful. Thank you so much while I take this moment to figure out what's going on in your love life. All right, that's you. That's the next step. That's your obstacle, what's helping you, and then your new focus or your outcome. Ooh. Okay, we got some good stuff, Libra. I got two outcome or two overall energy cards. All right, so we have a page of cups coming in in your love life. And this is a love offer. It's good news when it comes to love. Um, it's good money too. They're, they're connected. Okay. Whenever you're feeling good in one area, a lot of times you start having, um, auspicious things happening in another area. Um, but this is like you dreaming about love or just being more intuitive and just enjoying the love now. Okay. Because I have a feeling that, I have a really strong feeling that this person that hasn't been giving you the love or giving you that love offer, they're coming. Okay. They're coming. It's taking them some time because they've been going through some tower moments. They've been going through their own soul growth because they need to come to you. Correct. Because they haven't been coming to you. Correct. And that's not healthy. Right. All right. And also coupled with that is a lot of truth. A lot of truth coming your way. Sometimes I don't, this is, this can be a very deceptive card, but when it's paired like this, th this person's coming to you with a love offer and they're coming to you with swords of truth. That's what that is. Like I'm coming, I'm going to leave these other things behind because I don't, you don't really need to know those things are not that important. Maybe we'll talk about them later is kind of what this person's saying. Like they're important, but not yet. Or maybe I don't want to tell you this yet because this is really close to my heart. Um, maybe, maybe they don't want to tell you how much they love you just yet, but they do want to bring you all this truth. Like you did this for me, 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 right? So they're going to be like, you taught me these cool things. You helped me get rid of the devil energy. You um, showed me the light. You did this, you did that. I'm so thankful for you. I, I love you. Thank you so much. But what they're leaving behind and what they're not telling you is how much they love you. <laughs> so they're going to come to you as a page, not as a, as, as a, um, a knight. A knight of cups is so much better than the page, but the page, I'll take a page any day, right? <laughs> so they're going to come to you with some truth and that will make you feel good. It will make you feel happy. Um, and so this is really, really good energy. It's going to make you feel really good. Let's, I'm going to figure out in a second what you're feeling like, but these truths 
you've, you've been waiting for these truths, okay? So this is good, but they're not going to let you in on all of it yet because they still have some healing to do before they can come to you and, and reveal these things because they've never even been this open with anyone before. If you think that they're going to be completely open, uh, you're crazy, right? So the fact that you're getting these is a blessing for them and you because this person has never, ever opened their heart up to anyone like this before, okay? All right, Libra, what are you in this situation? <laughs> of course you are. Of course we are. I am too. Done. I am so done. I'm so over it. I'm so over, like, the lies. I'm so over of you not telling me things. I'm over it, right? Like, just come correct. Do what we need to do. Let's move forward. But you, you got to understand this person has to go through this tower stuff. They have to do it. It has to be their decision. They have to be the one to come to you. It's their lesson. So I um, I have a, a guy that I listen to. He's really good. And um, he, he always talks about like, or he's been talking about lately, he did a reading and the reading was like, what is this soulmate cycle all about? And it was really good because it brought a lot of clarity. And it said for the divine feminine, the soulmate cycle is about your self-worth and you understanding how beautiful and how wonderful you are. It's, it's about you learning about your self-worth. And the masculine, their, soul, their, their lesson in the karmic cycle is about vulnerability. This person is going to come to you vulnerable. Okay, but they're not going to give you all of it because they're not that vulnerable yet. They're, they, that's their lesson in life is to become vulnerable because they were taught, the divine masculine was taught not to be vulnerable and not to share the, all of themselves in that way. Vulnerable is weakness and that's not true. You're teaching the divine masculine that vulnerability is not weakness and you're learning about your own self-worth. And what he had said is, even if this person never comes to you, I think they will. But even if they don't, as long as you learned your self-worth, then you're okay in the karmic cycle and it's over. Okay? But for this person, they will have to come back and learn about vulnerability if they don't learn it. Okay? But this person, I have a feeling, the universe has been shoving this in their face. They want these soulmate cycles to resolve. Okay? So I know you're done. I am too. I get it. Um... You're done? That's okay. Take some rest. Take some rest because we know there's big moves happening. We know in money and career, there's big. There, you're moving forward big time. So rest while you can because, yeah, okay, rest and love. That's okay. Just let this person do what they need to do. Let them speak in the way they want to speak. Relax through it. We don't have to rush. There's You don't need to rush through this at all. Now, what's your next step? You have lots of decisions to make. And uh, I've been hearing this in my own thing, like lots of decisions to make. How are you going to move forward in this with this information? What are you going to do? How are you going to process that? Um, I have a feeling that these are going to be logical decisions in love. Like, how am I going to, once I know this information, what am I going to do with it? You know, um, and I don't think you need to make any fast decisions. So don't worry. It's just kind of like, okay, I see that. Um, all right. Let me, um, let me think about that. Okay, cool. All right, that's cool. Oh, I really like that. Okay, well, let me think about that. What do I want? How do I want to move forward with that? Okay, it's not like you have to rush forward. You just kind of, where do I want to go with that information? No big deal. Okay, what is in your way? What's your obstacle? Their transformation is in your way. So you're waiting for this soulmate cycle, this soulmate to come in. It could be twin flame. You're waiting for this person to bring you their vulnerability and their truth. But, the, but you have to wait on their transformation. Their transformation is still happening. They, the death of old is happening and bringing in the new is happening for this person. You're the divine feminine. So, you know, if you're here looking at tarot readings, then you've probably already been through your transformation several times. And you got to give this person some grace to know that they, they have to. <laughs> you've already done it. They, they have to go through what you went through. And some of you guys, that took you two and three years. So the fact that you're waiting for this person and you're like, I'm over it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Give them some space. Give them some time. Because um, all that's what we have in the world is just time, right? No rush. All right. So what is helping you? What is your strength? Well, you have, you're the visionary. You're the one holding the light. You're the one who's already done it. 
Um, you're the one who can make plans. You're the one who let go of the old and brought in the new. This is someone letting go of the old wand and bringing in a new wand. You're the one who's, who has the fire in your heart to move forward because you know what it looks like on the other side. They have no idea. They're just following your light, <laughs> but they don't really know where they're going. They don't know how beautiful it is on the other side, and you do, and that's what you have helping you is to continue to focus whatever you're fo like focus in on the right things stop focusing on the fact that you just want to be done with this situation um and it's not that you want to be done and like oh i just don't want to talk to them again it's just like i just want to be done it's tiring it's tiring to hold the light my arm is getting tired right <laughs> like it's it's tiring me out to continue to do this um for someone that is taking a really long time to do this and they're going back and forth and being wishy-washy and they're nice one day and then they're not and that type of stuff. I get it. But but hold your your truth and hold your light and keep looking forward. And what is the oh the outcome is like everything that you want. It's your happiness. This is probably one of the most happy cards when it comes to relationships. Um, you have the four of wands. I mean this these people are celebrating a wedding. They're celebrating their their reunion. They're celebrating their future. Um, this is like the honeymoon period. It is it is happiness in a bottle, right? Like if you could sell happiness in a bottle, that's exactly what it would be. It is beautiful. So that is your outcome of the whole situation and what you should be focusing in on, not focusing on the fact that you just want this to be done. I get it. And okay. <laughs> so let's find out what this person, where are they at in their transformation? I kind of want to see where they're at. Like, where are they at? It's like, can you give us some information? On, are they getting through it? Are they in the middle of a trance? Or, I mean, you know, how, how, what's going on? Some of you guys, you have some major moves happening. So I think you kind of know where your person is. But let's see what we can get. All right, where are they at? Okay, they're in the teaching and learning. Okay. They, they have some, they have, they have a ways to go. Okay. All right, let's see. So... And they are watching you and learning how to do this because they don't know they don't know how to do it. <laughs> They're watching you to see how you're doing it so that they can do it that way too. And they, um, they're tired of being left out in the cold. They're tired of feeling this way. So they're, they're pretty much over this. And they want to move. To, they're moving forward. And they're moving towards happiness. They're moving towards this. They, they're, this is the light. This is the lighthouse. And I was just explaining this to Taurus. This is the light. This is, this is what they're following. They're following the light. They can't see. They're in the darkness. Like this darkness has clouded them for so long. See how dark that is? And and then and he's trying to get through. He's like, Aah! he's like struggling. Aah! He's trying to get through and he's like, but I'm just following the light. I got to find the light. Ah! And you're shining your light, right? And so that's where they're trying to go. They're moving towards this happiness, towards the light. Um, and they're following, they're following the, the star of Jesus, right? They're fo following the star of Nazareth or whatever. They're following this bright light that you have above you and around you and they see it and they're like, okay, I just got to keep moving forward. They're on this journey. I just got to keep moving forward. Oh, I fell off my horse. Ah, and then they keep moving forward. Ah, I fell off my horse again, you know, because <laughs> that's what it's like when you're transforming. That's what it's like when you're, when you have the death card and you're getting rid of the old and coming into the new. It's just like you, you go forward and then, ah, and then you go forward and, ah, and you guys know, cause you did it already. <laughs> so, right. They're letting go of their pain and, uh, it's a lot of pain. But they're letting go and they're doing it slowly because that's the divine masculine. That's what they're doing right now, okay? And they're turning into the divine masculine. They're turning into what they want to be. They're turning into this powerful creature. They're turning into this person who takes charge of their life instead of life happening to them. They're making good judgments and good choices. They're being very logical about what's happening. They're not, go they're not going, oh, that hurts and I'm going to turn the other way. No, I think they're, 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 going right up. they're moving right on through it. And um, you know what that's like. So please give this person some grace and give them some um, because they're starting to see the world a whole lot differently now because of you and they're being done with it. And here we go again. There's that moving forward. It's all moving forward in the good in the right directions. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what they're thinking about you. I'm thinking I should have split these up. The career and money. I 
just might do that for the other videos because some people, I don't know, I have to think about it. Okay, uh, I constantly feel you run, running through my veins. This is a very deep soul connection. I will do anything to bring you happiness. That means that they will even go through the darkness. They will even go through their pain. I will do anything. Where's that little guy on the horse? I hear. I will do anything to, to bring you happiness. If it means that I have to go through my darkness and my pain, then I will do that. And I was just telling Taurus that when I did my QHHT therapy, which is in the description box down below, um, it's quantum healing hypnosis technique. Uh, and I was talking to my higher self. My higher self had said that I made the sole contract that I was going to be the beacon of light for a lot of people. Um, and so um, this, that, that there were people who were going to be really attracted to me because I was the beacon of light. And that was going to bring them the motivation to move forward. So um, that is that is really, really awesome because that's kind of how I feel like. You're constantly running through my veins means that this person feels a deep connection to you. And it's a good thing that they do because if they didn't, they wouldn't have the motivation to do this type of work. Because this work, you know it, this work is not easy. It's not an easy task. It was never, it never should be presented in that way. Like it's just essential oils and crystals. It's not the type of work that it is. It is um, sometimes crying uncontrollably in the bathtub. I posted a meme about that. Um, it really truly feels that way. Sometimes it's like banging your head up against the wall. Sometimes it's uh, it's just being able to face the things that you don't want to face. And that's what they're doing. They're willing to do that for you, for your happiness, so that you can be together one day. How can I ever pay you back? This person owes you a great deal of gratitude, a great deal of gratitude. And they just see you this because of this, because they see you in this light as being the person who's been there, done that um, and shown me the way and you can do it. Then I definitely can do it, you know, and not to be mean, but they're looking at you kind of like it's the divine feminine, like if the divine feminine can do it in her softness or his softness. Right. Because people see the divine feminine sometimes being soft then and they're, they're masculine, you know, divine masculine. They're like, well, divine feminine can do it. I can do it, too. So it's almost better that you did it first in your softness and sweetness that they can go, you know what, if 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 he or she could do it, then I definitely know that I can because I power through the world because that's how divine masculine is. Right. I power through things. I'm going to power through this, too. OK, good. Give them the, the fire and the motivation because you're running through their veins. Give them that because that is how they're going to move forward. And that's the contract that you said that you were going to do. One of the things I'm going to have in the description box down below is the book, uh, The Little Soul in the Sun. It is a children's book, but it is such a great way to explain soul contracts and what's happening with everybody right now and why some people are the light and some people um, are following that light. Some people are in the darkness because in that book, it says real quickly before I go in that book, it says that if I vibrate so low that I forget who I am, if I'm in that darkness, I will need someone to shine their bright so light or their shine their light so bright that I could, I will remember who I am again. And that's basically what this relationship is. That's basically what's happening. They have gone so much in the darkness and they have, for lack of a better word, they have wasted a lot of their lives in the darkness until you came around and now you, sh you are shining so bright that they're following your light and they're willing to do the things to get out of the darkness because of you. And so you are that beacon of light. So keep shining bright and keep shining your light. And uh, anyway, you guys, and I explained all of that in the Taurus video. If you want to check that out, you can kind of hear a little bit more about that. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for visiting me. And if you like this video or entertain some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.